Today I've been asked to talk to you about external cephalic version and that's a procedure which I've developed a bit of a special interest in because I think it's a really straightforward, easy thing to be able to offer women who find that they've got a breech presentation in their pregnancy. So a breech presentation is where the baby is head up in the uterus instead of head down towards the end of pregnancy. It's very normal early in the pregnancy for the baby to be in any position it likes, sideways or head up in the uterus. But by the end of pregnancy, by about 37 weeks, most babies will be head down and that's a much safer way to be born if they're planning to have a vaginal delivery. About 97% of babies will be head down by the end, but some of them just don't seem to get around in time. And if they've not found that position by 37 weeks, there's only a very small chance that they'll find the right position before birth if they haven't found it before 37 weeks. All women should be offered external cephalic version if they find they've got a breech presentation at 37 weeks. It's a really good time to be able to talk to women about whether it's possible to turn the baby into a better position for labour. If they miss that opportunity and come into labour with a breach, it's much less likely to be successful and it is considered more dangerous, so most women will end up with having a caesarean section. So when we turn the baby, we disengage the breach from the pelvis by lifting it up and then we just walk it around to the top. At the same time, we just guide the head down into the pelvis. It can be that simple and that quick. Sometimes we have to fiddle with it a little bit to get it into the right position, but overall it usually only takes from seconds to a few minutes. So if the baby does turn to head down, that means the women can go on with much more confidence to plan for a normal vaginal delivery. It doesn't take a lot of pressure. It's not a, a procedure that requires any pain relief. It is a bit strange someone pushing on your tummy with the baby. Uh, some women find it ticklish and it's very hard to do then, but otherwise it's, it's a surprisingly simple when it's going to work. It doesn't always work. Um, the chance of success depends very much on whether it's a first or second or subsequent baby and how much fluid is actually around the baby because that gives you how much room there is to turn the baby in. When it's a first time mum, we usually quote a success rate of somewhere between 33% and 50%. For a second or third baby, it's more like 80 or 90%. You know, if it's a healthy baby, the last thing we want to do is cause any issue with anything and we'll accept if they're not going to turn, they can stay breech and there's other safe ways to be born. External cephalic version has been shown in trials to be safe, to not cause any harms to babies and to be effective at turning babies to head down positions and increasing the chance of them having a vaginal delivery. When we decide to do an external cephalic version, we bring women into North Shore Private for a couple of hours to delivery suite. There we can monitor the baby and we've got an ultrasound machine. The procedure is conducted there, so they have monitoring both before and after just to document the well-being of the baby. There's not really a recovery process. Afterwards, women should feel entirely normal. They shouldn't have any pain. In fact, they're often more comfortable because when a baby's breached, women find that the head is quite hard and pushes up underneath their ribs. When you get that head down into the pelvis, they're much more comfortable and the babies are too because then they can kick around the top and park their head down in the right position. It just happens to be the best position to be born in too.